went to okay. Michigan State. He was 5'7", 165 pounds, made All-American at 5'7", as a guard. Now, look at us. We have no excuse. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. After that, he was the man. Period. That's a very tough guy that brought that toughness and a football program with great assistant coaches and helped build the dynasty for 22 years uh, that's been maybe the most influential human being in the state of Arizona in the last 50 years. Coach Kush uh, always believed in talent and uh, he also believed in hard work. I was a baseball player and you know he turned me into a football player and and taught us all, you know, what it takes to be successful, not just as a football player, but, you know, in life and, and uh, as a husband and father. You know, so, so to get all these guys together that, that shared that experience with me is pretty special. Curly's here and Ferris here and uh, Jim's here and, uh, you know, I can just keep naming the guys. Uh, this is pretty fun. Uh, I really believe there's things that are redeemable and things that are not. I think this is redeemable. This is sort of a lifetime uh, thing that you'll live with the rest of your life. Th these are wonderful times, especially for guys my age. You know, we've had a lot of personalities on this team, but the one thing that we had as, as, uh, as teammates is camaraderie, and we stuck together. Yeah, and the yeah. big the big W I N yeah. always was the result oh. of our hard work. Oh man, we got some wins. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. <laughs> My sophomore year, he was pretty hard. My junior year, I was hurt a little bit, and so he, you know, he kind of left me alone for a while. But then, as I got older in the senior year, he, he, he gave he had confidence in me that I could get the job done. So that's the, the most memorable thing is that he had confidence in me that uh, I can get the job done. This is great seeing everybody back. I mean, it's, uh, you know, when you play for him, you think he's an SOB, and it's really, you know, kind of, you know, oh, you hate the guy. But afterwards, it's like, wow, that was really... You develop a real camaraderie with the players. Discipline, mental toughness, physical toughness, and the ability, no matter what you do in life, superimpose the lessons that we learned from tough drills. Hamburg drills, circle drills, Mount Cush, and you take those and they never leave you. There's not a guy you'll interview in this room that didn't go through those, and there isn't a guy here that doesn't understand what they mean and how they've been lamented in our hearts to make us who we are today. Mount Cush was where we had to run the mountain. If you made a mental mistake, a physical mistake, uh, drop the pass, whatever, you had to run the mountain. And uh, we've got a great photo of that iconic photo, 1965, that's being released again to the media. It was in Sports Illustrated and all over the country in uh, 1965, kind of under the heading of Frank Cush the toughest coach in college football. And you literally didn't run it. You pulled yourself up from right. tree to tree. And the thing was, your line, your coaches didn't like you to, do, to get one because they, they had to go with you. <laughs> I think at 18 and 19, as a kid out here, none of us, none of us would have told you that we would come back 40 years later to honor Coach Cush because at 18 and 19, we were rough. He emphasized you are getting an opportunity here at the university to come into a community, to get an education, and to set yourself up for the rest of your life. While you're here, you can play football too. If you live in Arizona or you play football here, there's not a doubt, there's no one more deserving than being honored as a legend. He's endeared in this, in this state, and I think he definitely put Arizona State football on the NCAA map. Football was great, and winning championships was great. But the records get broken and the money gets spent and what you have at the end of the day are the lessons that you learned. And, and so for me, it was those lessons that Frank Cush taught us, basically forced on us. We didn't have a choice. And that, that to me is what, uh, what made him special.